We're the people that your mom warned you about. Welcome to my world. Oh my gosh, Mark and I are, besides good looking, we are so, we are so lucky. Um, my parents invited Ruby to spend Friday with them and we went out and danced and hung out and socialized. And then yesterday we hung out with my family and then today my brother invited Ruby to go with him. And so we are getting some quality time in this weekend. And right now, we're having a toast. When I first met Mark, I know this is going to be hard to believe or imagine, but we were bellied up to a bar. Actually, if you're from the Columbus, Indiana area, you've probably heard of it. It's called Ziggy's. And it was a Wednesday evening. And I remember him sitting down and just being so happy and smiley. And I overheard him say he was new to town. And so I struck up conversation with them and he was really happy. And I found out that he was an engineer. And I said, like, um, you drive a train? <laughs> and, cause he wasn't the typical engineer type that we find in Columbus. And so he was like, no. And I said, oh, are you a civil engineer? And he was like, no, I'm a mechanical engineer. And I remember just cracking up because he was super outgoing and just not the stereotypical engineer. And so anyways, he was super funny and happy. And so I gave him, this is not gonna shock you guys, but I gave him my MySpace address and I told him to email me and I'd let him know what's going on in town. And so, yes, I've been a social media junkie since forever. I used to be in chat rooms, okay? Like AOL dial up chat rooms. One of my best friends, I met her in a um, Justin Timberlake chat room. We became BFF. She lives in Chicago. I would take the train up to Chicago to uh, meet her for concerts and hang out. She'd take the train down. Totally awesome. But let's get back to talking about my husband. Um, and so we quickly hung out and just never left each other. We were together all the time when we first met. Um, we don't really have any hobbies. We don't really, like, well, we boat and, like, go out and hang out in the water and drinking beer. Is beer drinking, is that a hobby? I mean, we don't discriminate. You know, he's introduced me to some very nice Kentucky bourbons um, and wine. Um, so we don't discriminate, but we don't really, we are, we are very, very social. So our hobbies are just like hanging out with people. Does that count as a hobby? <laughs> I don't know, um, but he's fun. He, Mark is super patient. I used to always say, if I have a baby, I won't be the baby. And now obviously we have a six year old that I'm not the baby anymore, but he's still super patient with me. <laughs> but he is, he's an amazing dad. Um, even though that wasn't in the plan, like the reason he got a second date was because he also didn't want children. And I thought that was so cool. Speaking of second dates, maybe I'm the lucky one. <laughs> maybe I'm the lucky one with the second date thing. Our first date was crazy. I have no idea actually why he took me back out. It was wild. I was wild. I know. Surprise, surprise. We're both lucky. We'll say we're both lucky. So Mark is from Kentucky and um, he's from Louisville, the south side of Louisville. But this is really kind of funny. He is also a U L alum. He got his master's degree from the University of Louisville. And, um, but he's a Cats fan. He is a Kentucky University of Kentucky cats fan, but he graduated from Louisville. I don't get it. I don't ask questions. Whatever. Um, but he grew up on, Mark grew up, he actually, he came, Mark came with a boat. 
that's why I think Mark came with a boat. Um, and he's just lucky, or I'm lucky, that I loved it. I fell in love with being on the water and it was just the best. Some things that I really love about Mark is his sense of humor. Um, I already told you guys he's very patient, um, but he can dance. Actually, when I found out that, when he told me that he was a mechanical engineer, he looked at me dead serious, and he said, but if I could do anything, if I could do anything, I would dance. And that just freaking cracked me up even more. And so, his dance moves are like no other. He um, is just... He's fun and he's kind and he's smart and he's a he's a figure it out kind of guy. He loves um, like tinkering and fixing things and um, making stuff and he like reads instructions before he starts things. Like there's so many qualities we have that were similar, you know, like the fun, beer drinking, outgoing, social, kind, good looking, smart, that stuff. <laughs> But there's so many things that we're so different on. Like, he always finishes what he starts. I hired to help me finish to harass my husband. Um, I don't really read directions. He reads directions. So in those ways, we're so, so different. So which is good because it complements each other. Like he has um, brought structure into my life and I feel like I've maybe um, given his square box some dents and bangs and expanded it a little bit. He's still in his box, but his box is bigger and like there's leaks. <laughs> uh, so we're good, good, we're good influence on each other. No, we're not. We're we're the we're the people that your mom warned you about. Like those fun people that are like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we're those people. I'm Liz Medley and I believe in you.